Hello, my name is Kenneth van Huy, and I'm going to present our paper titled A Sliced Wasserstein Loss for Neural Texture Synthesis. In this work, we introduce a new loss to drive neural texture synthesis. Currently, the ubiquitous loss for this task is the Gram loss, which is used by hundreds of works on texture synthesis and style transfer. Indeed, Gattes and colleagues discovered that the feature activations in a pre-trained convolutional neural network yield powerful statistics. They propose to capture the gram matrix of feature activations, which measure the correlation between feature channels. This can, for example, be used to optimize a new texture with similar correlation statistics. However, correlation is only a second order descriptor of the statistics of deep features. This is insufficient for capturing texture and results in contrast artifacts. Several papers document this and compensate by combining gram with additional loss functions, or even switch paradigm towards elaborated generative architectures like GANs. This complexifies the process by requiring tedious metaparameter tuning and hindering convergence. We propose the sliced Wasserstein loss a standalone new descriptor of deep statistics that captures the full n-dimensional histogram of a deep feature layer and circumvents the artifact problem. Let's take this toy two-dimensional deep feature activation. To compute our new loss function, we first discard the spatial structure of feature activations. This yields an n-dimensional point cloud, also known as the n-dimensional histogram. We then define our loss to be the optimal transport distance between two histograms in this space. This ensures that the new texture has a similar distribution, as opposed to the gram matrix, which captures only the major directions of the feature distribution. However, measuring an n-d-histogram distance requires computation of the optimal transport, which is intractable. Luckily, the well-documented sliced Wasserstein distance provides a simple approximation. Instead of operating in ND, we stochastically draw 1D slices in the ND feature space. Then, we project all features to each direction and take the L2 distance between feature vectors in 1D, using a vector sort operation. Iterating over many directions using sliced Wasserstein loss makes the ND histogram converge towards the target histogram. Replacing gram matrix loss with our loss can be achieved in a few lines of code we provide with our paper. Synthesizing using this metric instead of gram solves the reported problems of the gram matrix loss without combining multiple loss functions. This new building block can thus be seen as a drop-in replacement at the cost of a small added complexity. Besides the shown benefits, we also show that our loss function is more flexible than gram. For example, we can handle regular textures using our sole loss function. We achieve this by concatenating a tag representing spatial control to the ND feature spaces, resulting in an n plus 1D space. The additional dimension naturally clusters features by tag. If we proceed through slicing as before, this has the beneficial effect of preserving periodicity at synthesis time. As a result, we can synthesize periodic textures using a single loss and obtain a quality comparable to related work that requires a combination of four hard-to-tune loss terms. This mechanism also allows texture painting by labels, in which a new mask layout drives synthesis of a new texture. Finally, we show usability in several use cases like training a multi-texture generator, allowing for interpolation, and style transfer. For more details, please check out our paper and project page.